Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are going to talk about how to add and subtract vectors. These are basic, basic vector operations, but if you want to study physics, atmospheric sciences, any form of engineering, you simply must know these things. There is no other way around. So today we will talk about it and at the end of this video you will have full and complete understanding how to add and subtract vectors. Let's see how to do it. Let's say we have two vectors, vector A and over here vector B. The question is, what is A plus B? There are three methods to sum vectors. Method number one is called tip to tail. And it says you take vector A and to the tip of this vector put tail of vector B. Connect tail of A to the tip of B and this is resulting vector C. We can add multiple vectors. Let's say we have A and then we put B over here. Now let's say somebody gives us vector C that looks like this. Well, I just take this vector and I put it over here. Another fellow comes and says there is vector D that looks like this. Well, I take this vector and I put it over here. What is the result? Well, I go from the beginning tail of A and I connect with the tip of the last vector, which is D. And this is my final vector, let's call it S, sum of all these. Another way to do it, which I personally prefer when I do these things geometrically, is using the rule of parallelogram. Let's say I need to sum up these two vectors, A and B, using the rule of parallelogram. I have vector A. Now in this case, I put vector B at the tail of vector A, like so. And now I construct parallelogram. I make a line parallel to A, I make a line parallel to B, the resulting vector is C. And you can see we get the same result as in this case. And the third way is adding components. And this is the method that is employed in numerical models and when we do these things on a computer. We know that vectors can be decomposed. For example, in a Cartesian coordinate system that I described in a, one of the previous videos, and I have vector A sitting over here, then this is AX, this is AY, in this coordinate system, we can see that vector B, so this is vector A, here is vector B, that vector B would only have Y component and would not have X component. So I can say that vector A has components AX, AY, whereas vector B has components, well, zero and minus by. Okay, so what is a plus b in this case? That would be equal, well, components. ax plus zero in the i direction plus a y minus b y 
and that would be in the j direction where we know from my video on unit vectors that these are unit vectors in x and y directions respectively. All methods of course give the same result and you can choose whichever one you want. First two are geometrical, third is numerical. Next question is how do we subtract vectors? Let's say we have these same two vectors that I described above a and b. How do I subtract these two? Well, the way we subtract them, let's say some vector s that is equal a minus b, we get that s in the following way. We take vector a and we put vector b at the tail but we, so this is a, this is b, but now we do not make parallelogram as we did in the case of uh, summing them up, but we connect them, so head to head, and this is vector s, that is a minus b. Clearly, you can see from here that a is equal s plus b, namely this is a, this is b. Of course, the other way we can subtract vectors is using components and that's in principle the same as adding them, but instead of addition, we, we would have subtraction. In atmospheric sciences and engineering, in physics in general, we more often add vectors than we subtract them. Nevertheless, it is always good to know how to subtract vectors and now you know. That's it, very simple. I think. Now you know how to add, how to subtract vectors, what that means when we talk about these things. Until next video, goodbye.